Hello, fifth graders. Welcome to lesson 5.8, Problem Solving Decimal Operations. Please pause to write the lesson number and title in your notebook. Today's lesson objective is to solve multi-step decimal problems by using the strategy work backwards. Please pause again to write the lesson objective in your notebook. Let's begin by reading the unlock the problem. It says, Carson spent $15.99 for two books and three pens. The books cost $4.95 each and sales tax was $1.22. Carson also used a coupon for 50 cents off his purchase. If each pen cost the same, how much did each pen cost? Let's start underlining some numbers that will help us fill out what we need to find and how we're going to use that information. So if we look at the bottom of our question, we need to know how much does each pen cost? So let's write that in what we need to find. We need to find how much each pen cost. Okay, the information that we know is that he spent $15.99 on two books and three pens. The books cost $4.95 each and sales tax was two dollars and sorry one dollar and twenty two cents so the information that we need to use I'm gonna actually write over here so that I have more space is that he spent fifteen dollars and ninety nine cents we know that the books cost four dollars and 95 cents and we know that tax was one dollar and 22 cents the last thing we know is that he bought two books and he also bought three pens now this is a lot of information so as you can see below we're gonna follow some steps the steps that we're going to follow are we are going to work backwards. We're going to use what we already know to find out what we don't know. So it says make a flow chart to show the information and then use inverse operations to work backwards to solve. So we know that we have the cost of three pens so that's going to be three times each pen, but we don't know what that pen costs yet, so we're going to go to the next step. We have the cost of two books. Well, one book is $4.95, so we're going to have to multiply two times $4.95, plus we're also going to add the tax in, because we pay taxes extra, $1.22. Then, oh, I forgot to write down, he had a coupon. I totally forgot to write that in what we know. He had a coupon for 50 cents. All right, so the coupon was 50 cents off. So we're going to minus 50 cents because it's taking away that. So minus 0 0.50. And that will be our total amount spent, which we know is fifteen dollars and ninety nine cents so now we're gonna take what we know from up above and we're gonna swing down around here to the bottom and work backwards to figure out the cost of the pen so the total spent was fifteen dollars and ninety nine cents now we're gonna work backwards so we're gonna do the opposite of what we did up above so that we can find out just the cost of the pen so if we were going to take minus the coupon, the opposite of minusing would be to add the coupon because that would mean that he paid more 
for the coupon, but then he took that out, which is where the minus came from. So we're going to add 0 0.50. So let's go ahead and on the side here kind of have a running total of what's happening. So he had $15.99. And then we have said we're going to add the coupon. So plus 0 0.50. So that means without the coupon, his cost would have been 9 plus 5 is 14. 5 plus 1 is 6. Without the coupon, his cost would have been 6.49. Now we're going to take out the other parts that we already know. So the tax was 1.22. So we're going to subtract the tax. So minus... one point two two so nine minus two is seven four minus two is two six minus one is five and one so we have fifteen dollars and twenty seven cents now we're going to subtract out the cost of two books so if we have four dollars and ninety five cents times two that gives us nine dollars and ninety cents so we're going to subtract out nine dollars and 90 cents seven minus zero is seven not two minus nine we can't do so we have to borrow twelve minus nine is three four minus nine we can't do so we have to borrow again fourteen minus nine is is five so that's five dollars and thirty seven cents now our last step is that what we need we would need to do five dollars and thirty seven cents divided by three let me make some space here all right so we have five dollars and thirty seven cents divided by three Remember, we place our decimal first and then divide just like normal. So 3 goes into 5 one time, which is 3. Remainder, 2, bring down the 3. 3 goes into 23 seven times, which is 21. 3 minus 1 is 2. 2 minus 2 is 0, bring down the 7. 3 goes into 27 nine times, which is 27 no remainders. So that means that each pen cost $1.79. Great job, fifth graders. All right, fifth graders, time for the lesson activity. Today's lesson was a little bit tricky, so I'm going to give you as much help as I can on the lesson activity. It says, Maria spent $28.69 on one pair of jeans and two t-shirts. The jeans cost $16.49. Each t-shirt cost the same amount. The sales tax was $1.62. How much did each t-shirt cost? Well, let's get started by we know that she spent $28.69 total. The jeans we know the cost of. The jeans cost $16.49. Nine minus nine is zero. Six minus four is two. Eight minus six is two. And two minus one is one. We also know that the sales tax was $1.62. So that tax was extra, so we want to subtract it from our total. So $1.62. Two minus zero we can't do, so we have to borrow. Ten minus two is Eight, one minus six, we can't do, so we have to borrow again. 11 minus six is five. One minus one is zero, and then bring down the one. So now we're down to $10.58. But remember, $10.58 was the cost of two t-shirts. So now our next step, and you're gonna do this part on your own in your notebook, is you're going to do $10.58 divided by 
Great job, fifth graders. I know this lesson was hard. We'll work on it more tomorrow in class.